For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, now let's do this problem where you have this Jeep crane, which is manufactured by this company that's not important, and they're giving you the figure. Basically, you have this force F, and then it has a mass occurring here at G. And basically what they want you to do is they want you to find the reactions at A and B. And they tell you that the bearing A can only have a horizontal uh, reaction, horizontal force, which means that it can only go horizontally. I'm going to assume it's going this way. And B can have both a horizontal and vertical reaction. So I'm going to assume it's going that way. And I'm gonna assume it's going that way. Now, the first thing I wanna tell you guys, why did I assume that A of X was going to the left? Because I have this force here trying to pull it down. So the top of the bearing will try to make up for that by pulling to the left. And since AX is going to the left, I would say BX is going to the right and BY is going up. But when we do all the equations, we're gonna find out if that's true or not. So we got that F is equal to 15K. And we have a weight right here at G, a weight, and I'm going to call it weight of the crane. So first of all, let's calculate the weight of the crane. The weight of the crane is equal to the mass, which is 800 kilograms, times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second square. And that gives you that the weight of the crane is equal to 7848 newtons. So we got W at 7848, 7848, or 7.848K. So we have everything on the same unit. So now it's just applying the simple um, equations uh, that we've been practicing in these previous chapters. We know that the sum of the moments at B is equal to zero. Let's assume going clockwise is positive. So you got a moment being created by this force F right here and it turns this lever arm which has a length of 3 meters so that would be um, that would be 0 is equal to 15k times the 3 meters and it's positive because it wants to turn it clockwise plus the moment being created by the weight which is this distance here of 0.75 so it's 7.848k times 0.75 and minus a which turns the sliver arm right here which has a length of 2 minus ax times 2 is equal to 0 so uh, right here you can solve for ax and you know you find out that ax is equal to 25.4k then the problem becomes very very easy you know that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to 0 you know that AX is going to the left and BX is going to the right. There's nothing else. So minus AX plus BX is equal to zero. So AX is equal to BX, which they're both equal to 25.4, which has found it. And we're in kilonewtons. So we already found AX and BX, just like that. And the last one would be uh, to find BY. And that one's very easy to find too, because you know that the sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero. So we got the weight coming down, WC, um, plus BY, minus the 15K force, and all of that is equal to zero. We already got the uh, WC is the first thing we found. So when you solve for BY, you get that BY is equal to 22.8 kilonewtons. So, final answer for AX, final answer for BX, and final answer for BY. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.